Hello everyone, this is Moshe the Electric Israeli and thank you for joining my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all of my Patreons, you're awesome. And those who ordered their Tesla using my link and I can use my hands today because I'm not driving. She is driving. Um, and today we're gonna talk about, I'm gonna dedicate this video to JB Strabel, uh, who is the, was the CTO, Chief Technology uh, Operation at Tesla, since really, since before uh, uh, Elon Musk even joined. Um, he is instrumental to uh, one, some of Tesla's uh, great um, uh, advances and ideas and technologies I'm gonna name just a few of them and as you probably heard he is departing from that position that position is gonna be now handed to uh, Drew uh, Baglino uh, who is a very capable person is also uh, one of the first ones in uh, Tesla so it's gonna be in good hands but uh, let's first of all say a few things about JB and his accomplishment and then I'll share with you a comment that one of Tesla's uh, executives say about him which is interesting and then what I think uh, about that altogether so like I said he joined uh, he, he was brought to the company in 2006 way before any Tesla's were uh, invented um, and he was one of the first ones like I said, to join this group and to to implement this idea of electric cars. And I think among many of his great ideas, and I'm gonna give you a real example of that, why it was a great idea, was the idea of supercharging versus battery swap. If, I don't know if you remember, there was one a video uh, a presentation actually, that Tesla with Elon Musk did like a battery swap that it's faster to um, do a battery swap than to fill your car your car with gas and that idea died and made that idea rest in peace it's a bad idea and I, let, let me tell you why it's a bad idea it was tried uh, in Israel actually my homeland uh, by, a by a company called Better Place and that was their idea and it was such a brilliant dumb idea because it just never worked. Technically it works, you go in, you get the battery swap, blah, blah, blah. but the whole idea is so expensive. Imagine instead of superchargers, you have battery swaps. Battery swaps like, a, like going to the mechanic. You have to go underneath, somebody is gonna do this for you. They're not all, always charged, it's second hand, it's not your battery. You can lease the, that battery. It was, it was such a dumb idea that Better Place, which had so many investors in it, went flat on his face and then turned over on his belly. Uh, it, it's just unbelievable. So he is the one who pushed for supercharging and thank God we're just coming out of, of a supercharger which is all self-serving, it's easy, it doesn't take a lot of room, you don't need, you put it on the on a parking lot, you put it on the street for all I care. It doesn't need any operation of people and mechanics and tunnels and going underneath. That is a fabulous idea, the supercharger. It's, it's Tesla's biggest advantage. Um, Gene um, Berdejewski <laughs> uh, said uh, he's the number one, number seven on Tesla's hierarchy. He's, he described uh, JB as a brilliant man, uh, engineer in his soul, gentle, uh, calculated, complete opposite of uh, Elon Musk, who is much more outgoing and extravagant and. And, and all that personality that which is great but this is exactly the opposite but you you saw him in almost every uh, uh, presentation he's a pilot I didn't know that and a khaki wear you know he always wear khakis um, and he is focused and zoomed into battery technology and battery price reduction I mean he is one of the people who, who is responsible for battery density and battery cost reduction from what it used to be a thousand dollars to one to what it is now 180 150 and and on and on had big impact on power power walls power pack uh, batteries uh, storage and he's responsible for most of the technology that you found 
in your in the model s and model x and of course eventually the model 3 it's a very brilliant man uh, you know tesla did not specify why he's leaving he's going to stay as an advisor you know people leave you know eventually people leave companies company stays uh, the founders of mcdonald's long time dead mcdonald's is a, one of the biggest company in human history uh, Steve Jobs is dead. Apple is the biggest company in human history. And so will be Tesla. It will live long after all the founders are part of, not part of the company or not part of the world. So I think that it's just the way things are. But it's a, it's a big loss in the sense that he is such an important part. And whatever the reason is, it doesn't even matter. Uh, he is responsible uh, to so many of the most important things that Tesla ever made. Uh, but it's going to go to good hands uh, and the succession plan is great and uh, some Tesla haters uh, of course pounce and said ah another brain drain don't worry about it uh, the, uh, the system is in place so that's that I wanted to share with you my thought about it once you share your thought put your comments below in the link thank you for watching if you like this video give me a thumbs up and I'll see you tomorrow